but I don't want no tea. It gives me a headache. Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, what shall we have then? Coffee. Hello, everyone. All right, as you can see, I've been busy. Um, this is now together. <laughs> yes, so here comes the fun stuff. Um, first, let me. I made a clip yesterday about how I made the um, uh, inner hull so you can't see through certain holes and stuff like that. Let me refer you back to that and I'll be right back. All right, I wanted to show you what I've been working on on the inner hull. I um, referenced the books that I borrowed from Marion and I wanted to borrow from Joel. And then the one I bought from Joel, uh, it showed me in the back area where the inner hull basic outline was. So I took that as reference and I added it to this model. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time, so I just took some styrene, made some uh, brackets, bent, um, if you can see, bent this with some uh, torch, bent it down like this. Now if you look through, if I can see or not, you'll see that you can't see through a certain amount of holes back here. See the holes? You'll see, you can't see it. And that's why when you look through this thing, you only see the ones in the back. That pretty much follows the basic line of the uh, inner hull. Same thing with the front. I made a bracket up here. And same thing. You look through here, you can, you can see two sets of holes, I think, there. But when you look through it straight on, you only see one set of holes. So I made that bracket. Had to make a, you know, help hold it in place. Had to make this bracket in there. Um, so my structure is ready for the inside. Now I can pretty much, I'm doing some more fine painting. I want to put the two halves together. And like this, let me see if I can get this done real quick. I've got some more work to do, but there it is. So now, with this part in the back and this part in the front, as you can see, um, this will allow me so that you can only see through the top holes here. The bottom hole you can't see through because that's where the inner hole is. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, I'll move some lighting here or not. I doubt it. It's going to be tough. But anyway, when the model's finished, you'll be able to see through some of them and not other ones because that's where the inner hole is. Um, oh, yeah, I had to... Let me show you something else real quick. I had to create this area here, as you can see. Let me see if I can point at it. The, the, where the torpedo loads is a bay right here on top deck. It comes down to this area. I had to cut all this area out. and so the tub will fit in here. Also when the torpedo goes through that hole, I don't want to see anything beyond there so I painted, I made this little area here where it's blacked out and that way uh, when you look down through that hole if you see any, you just see blackness, you won't see any reflection of anything. That's why I've blacked all this out. No reflection rate. I just use regular craft paint, uh, folk art, um, licorice and hand painted it all in there. So when I go to put the two halves together, you'll um, see the um, that I haven't, I don't know if you can see down in there or not, some of the areas are not painted yet. But once I glue it together, I'll get in there with some paint, paint it all up, it'll be totally black in there, no reflective light. So that way when somebody looks through to one side to the other side, they'll only see what they're supposed to see, and that's it. And that's exactly what I wanted to do, so I'm real happy. Uh, other than that, uh, get back to the um, other parts I'm working on and it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm finally to the part where I'm enjoying um, that I've got this done so now I'm like okay good I can put the sub together use a uh, um, methylene chloride to weld everything back in there where I can still hit it without the paint on there I'll get it in you know these parts right here down in there I'll get it in there Methylene chloride is 10x7, in case you're wondering. And get down there, weld this baby shut. Put some along the bottom when I get it all clamped together. I'll put some on the bottom, on the seams, sand them, put the deck on. Uh, I've still got to make the uh, make put the little box onto the deck that holds a torpedo. 
I've got to do that. Once I get that in, this thing's going to start flying for me, hopefully. Yeah. I've been really looking forward to getting it done. Anyway, some minor sanding back here. I've tried to put this on where the uh, shaft comes out. I've had some minor problems with the, uh, the way it went on. And the way I filled it with red putty is not the best. I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that up a little bit. I've been sanding it, working on it. Uh, so, small problems. Things that, can't be, the things that can be fixed easily. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, well, this section of the video. All right, so now that you saw how I did the inner hull, uh, let me catch you up on um, a few things. Um, I don't know if you can see or not, but you can see everything inside it. Here's part of the inner hole, so when you see through it, you can't, you know, um, you can't see, you only see through certain holes. Tell you what, let me see if I can do this. It's kind of really cool. Um, I hope you can see through that. Let me see. See how you can, yeah, well, I guess you can't. I don't know. It's hard to do with the camera, but anyway, you can see through some of these holes from the other side, and then you get over here and you can't. Um, it's the same way over here. You can probably see through the top holes, but you can't see through the uh, through the bottom holes, and that's what's on purpose. That would be the inner hole, and you can't see through that. Even though the holes go through, uh, you can't see through the other side on some of them. So that, that does show you a little bit. Good. Okay. Now, um, let me catch up on what's, what else I do. When, once I got the inner hull done on one side, glued it in, but the other, I finally glued this together, did a lot of 10x7 or methylene chloride, um, got all the, I pretty much held it together clamps, and then I used methylene chloride all along here, got everything matched up as I went along, made sure everything matched up all the way over to here and around here. The same thing along the seam line through here. I had to put this little part in the back. Um, the fit between two pieces came in through the top and when I glued that in it doesn't fit very well so I've got some putty work to do on there okay so and I still got more putty work to do. this is a pain in the butt these stupid where the shafts go in where the engines are uh, pain in the butt so I've got work to do on that but basically I'm really excited because now this is getting towards the end um, let me show you what else I've done um, I'll get back to this in a second well, actually, no. Let me, let me let me show you what I've done. To be able to mount this, I've gone. I went to Home Depot and Lowe's. I need to get something to mount this on. So I was looking at these. Uh, these are couplings for uh, electrical um, uh, connections for your like if your lamp. You want to extend it up higher or whatever, and you got more uh, brass uh, threaded rod. You can use this to coupling together. Kind of looks like a little nice little cap stand, you know. Um, or I went over to. Um, um, Ace Hardware. I found these nice chrome extensions, no threaded, no nothing, and they might fit up through there and then hold on like that. Okay, so that's kind of neat. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'll show you. I have, if you look, I'll show you some pictures. I've heard some pictures will roll along with this. You'll see what I've been doing. If you, I don't know if you can see it on there or not. There's a little nut, right? So when I get this done, I will have a board, and I will screw up through the board, through one of these, okay, and that'll screw into there. And that, ah, well, anyway, that will help hold that down to the board with, you know, one of these on here like this. So I kind of like that. I, I've done it before on a submarine I did in a Chimo 200 scale submarine years and years and years ago. And but we'll either do that. Vic had some good ideas. He says he had some other different kinds of uh, uh, things like this. So I don't know. I want to go over his house and check it out. But right now that's what I'm going with. The long bolt. It's a four, the number four forty, uh, inch and a half long. It's the longest I could find. I had to go to three different stores to find this at an inch and a half. Wow, hunting. You got to search for your parts. All right. Also, um, let me go back to. This, I've been working on, I finally got the tub in place.
and I've got it glued in as you can see I made some braces for it and I'll show you some pictures throughout this too that'll help you show it as I went along and did this um, Here's some, I've had to put some, see it's hard to tell because it's all black if, I, if you're seeing it or not. There's some bracing in here, bracing blocks. And the reason I've painted this all black is because when this goes in here, it goes in here like this. You don't want to see through those holes on the side here and see nice brass. And that would be very good. It should be blacked out. So I've done that. Now I can't glue any of this down. <laughs> this is the problem I'm having. Because this hatch is sticking up, if I glue this down in there now, wonderful. But as I'm picking this up and sanding these lines, I'll probably break it off. So I'm not gluing this on yet. I've got to sand all these smooth, make them look nice, do all this, get this all rigid. Um, and a lot of the other, you know, putty the main works of this thing, get it all done, and then I could go ahead and um, uh, put the top on, the top deck on, along with the other two pieces. I still got lots of footage to put on these, and then I'll, I'll, like that'll go on the back here. And it's a very tough fit. I actually to fit this that middle deck in here, I actually had to put it down and pull it out a little bit, just enough to get the snap in. Then I'm gonna use 10x7 or methylene chloride um, to along this seam here. And be very careful, very fine with my fine brush and just dab it on real easy so it just kind of melts the plastic but doesn't do any kind of damage. All I have to do is maybe take my uh, my uh, little sanding pen and just get it in there and take the excess off and it'll be fine. No damage or anything like that. So that'll take a little bit. But I am excited, like I said, a million times already. Uh, this is going to be so much fun. I'm um, getting down to the part where I get to really do the fun stuff on the outside. And I'm done with that inner hole. There's a lot of stuff off my mind, I'll tell you. Oh, and I've also been working on the 88 millimeter. I've got a lot of work to do on this, but you can see, I hope, you can see the gun barrel on there. And I've already attached it to the main plastic. This thing actually goes up and down. It actually goes up. Isn't that funny? Uh, I've got a lot of photos on here. I've got little uh, adjustment wheels and uh, little brackets for seating and everything to put on this thing still. This is tiny work. I'll tell you what, it's going to be worth it though. It's going to look really nice when I get it done. So that's catching up on everything so far. Um, I will get back to you as soon as possible when I get my next stuff done. I get this all sanded and fixed up and I'll get back to you hopefully in the next day or two. I don't know. We'll see how far I've come along. All right, everybody be good.